start trying to get aggressive super early on and see if you can... Not under the tower yet, they get the sub, but no one's tanking. Carrier flashes himself. Good double root from Carrier. And everything that Astralis tried to do is oh. all for naught. It's two for T1. Zofei will try and clear the wave. Should be able to do it. Dodges away from everything. Zofei's going to stay around. He's probably dead here, but let's see what he can do, Kobe. Yeah, they're still going to go Wait. for it. Oh, the shield. He gets him. Estra Estral Esports are on the board. A one for one. Charmed. Locked up. Estral Esports get another. Cody almost falls, but dashes away with the spear. Well, just shot down as well for Cody. As I didn't realize Gary had picked up two of the kills earlier on, so he gave a bounty. I mean, you can hope that T1 misplay around this Drake. Cody going in, looking for Carrier. Charm goes wide, Carrier sidestep. The heal Close. coming out for Carrier as well. Magnus Storm onto the back line. His Goom is there. TP in by Tofe as they try and get onto the back line. Yosei go. goes in, and Yosei gets the shut down. Now Zeus is joining the fight. Cody going forward, misses the charm again as Kerry is forced away. The Magnet Storm, not enough. The shockwave though from Oriana, just so powerful. Snacker and Ackerman have to flash away, but Snack is taken for a double. Ackerman gonna get chased down by this ghost. Pathmaker forward by Zeus. It puts the all out down, and Ackerman has no way of surviving this, but he'll take Zeus down with him. As uh, the Estral Esports bot lane gets one in response. Great play from Estral to look for it, but T1 immediately collapsed. I mean, that was the bounty play. Gonna do Faker. Huh? How are you going to get out of this one? Shockwave lands on two all. Faker almost survives with a face sealed, and Zofei takes him down. Faker is dead. Jose Diodo turns off the turret, and Carrier will fall alongside his mid laner. Astral Esports roar into life. Almost a, oh, like you can see the uh, progress bar. Yeah. Now it basically is in a direct level because he's about to get 11. Oh damage. my goodness. Shockwave. Shockwave. Oh, Jose De Yoda. Faker just died the tower. What are you doing, man? This guy's the goat. I doubt it. His Astral Tots turn it around. So they coming in. Push in side lanes and you see the there move now. Are. Locked up with a fate seal. Charm going wide though. Dash back and in goes Ono. As he thought perhaps he was going on a one way trip. Manages to escape with a flash of his own. Zofei already dead. The flank happening now as Faker looks for the shockwave and it might not find them all. In fact, it finds none. That will be another inhibitor tower, or first inhibitor tower going down. Estrel trying to defend and T1 have cracked the base and almost cracked Cody's head in. Oh, a great charm though from Cody. Stops Ona on his <laughs> way. Zeus charmed, locked up, Fate Seal coming out, TP in as well as Zeus starts to fall a whirling death just short as the all out comes out from Zeus, Pathmaker in, a charm again from Cody keeping Zofe alive, Faker falling down but he doesn't get killed because he lands the shockwave on Snacker, Cody will fall to Guma and the collapse from T1 is just too damn fine. Oh, the lethal Callista there. Finishing them off. Pop Blossom out from Carrier, just uh, distracting. Remember, you have the spears, Jose. the Ren from Callista. Jose, you're going in, you gotta go now. Cody falling low. Jose tries to get in, but <laughs> it's secured by Ona. Yeah. Still trading with Snacker. I don't think he's hit him once. The Snacker continues to try and put the damage down. Ona went too deep, so he dies. Zeus has the shield, though. The TP trying to get onto this Cassante. The Shockwave lands on four, though. Hard to make it out by Zayas. Cody falls. Faker survives. Guma gets so fake. Opportunity. <laughs> uh, don't, like, at some point, you just got to give him a bit of mercy. Guma locked up. Jose with the stun. And Snacker gets the shutdown. What can they do? Chase him off. Uh, yeah, they can try, Kobe. I don't <laughs> think they can manage to do so. Jose Diodo killed off by Faker, Snacker taken out by Zayas, a double in fact for Faker in the end. And then here and also for playing their game. Longer than 60 minutes. Which is what minutes. we want to see. And uh, lays the power here. T1. We've been looking for the Q3, flash in, chase flash. And Faker will fall for first blood for Estrel. All right, they've improved on the previous game already. They got it, they didn't. And Zayas survive. Underneath the tower, Ackerman tanking it up first. The path maker out, Zayas down to 150 HP. Now 100, Jose gets it, and they get the hell out. Auto attack down, Cody flash in from Carrier with the Ignite. Faker still takes it. Zayas under the tower, the path maker will lock up one. Zofe tanks the tower and gets out. They got it again, yeah, they got it again, and they don't. Trades back with Zayas. There's Conqueror stacking up, only six stacks so far, and I'm pretty sure Zofe is dead. Yes, he is. Ona slaps him down and gets his first kill of the game. Yeah, and that's going to be more minions dying at the tower.
owner doing a very good job of Flash flames back. Oh. Carrion oh has just been God, brutal man. this game. The Rumble Ganks mid. Just flash on cooldown at Cody yeah. every time. And Ignite. Yeah, Faker took it personally that Cody had a pretty good game one. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Zove still not level six as Ona dives in, gets the kill, should be able to survive. Whirling Death going wide, but Ona steps back into it to make sure Cody doesn't get it. Spear rush forward by Cody, looking for Zayas, the charm dodged. And it was good for a second, but the Flame Spitter doesn't care about your Crystal Arrows. Two kills over to T1 once again on the bottom side. Area Rumble is kind of running. The event, of oh, Ona kick back into the charm. That was gorgeous from Jose Diodo. Ona tries to trade in, but he doesn't have the health bar to do so. Cody takes the kill. Nice. Uh, honestly, let's see about the uh, about the objective afterwards too here. You can go for the blue buff 50 seconds before the Drake is up. Ona will be back up well in time for that. Equalizer not available to Carrier. No, he's going to try and save this blue wave, but Cody gets in with the charm, and Carrier has 150 gold bounty on his head. Ona a level behind now. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Zayus two levels ahead. Path makers, but Zofei's going to keep it under the tower. Oh. Zofei solos him! The knock him under the tower! Zofei's able to get it with despite the level disadvantage. Straw fighting back here. But the tower so low, this TP invested way too late. Wow. Kobe immediately slapped down by T1. The charm hits as well. The all out pulls Zayas under the tower, but it's a double in the end for Ona. Zofe did a good job escaping, but then the TP kind of pulled him back in. Well, Arrow hits Guma, no cleanse. The chase goes in, flash charm, equalizer. They kill off Gumi, the shutdown goes over to Cody. Shaker down to half HP, but now the mid lane tower, the target for Estro, charm wide. Cody still dashing in, dashing out. Uh, getting some of these picks. They can get down these outer towers, more space to work with. On the run. Equalizer can go down as well from Carrier in a couple of seconds. Doesn't need it, doesn't have it right now. Would, would have had it soon-ish, I'm sure. Yeah. As Carrier takes his third kill of uh, the game. Should be able to continue to use that. Zeus himself does get the outer tower there with the demolish proc, so further increasing it. So if we're going to pop the world ender here, trying to escape Spectral more for the stun. So if he dashes across the wall, then flashes back. He burnt owner's flash, and that's a small victory. <laughs> <laughs> you got to take what you can get, right? Uh, they couldn't, uh, couldn't quite get out, was it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Gary though, has got Every, got, everything oh missed. Gary oh, right, Gary is, he's playing DDR while everyone else is playing League of Legends. Jose Diodo still with the chase, though. They'll get one. It was <laughs> the charm going down onto Ona. And, uh, yeah, there we are. In the end, they, they do chase down the kill on Gary, despite Gary's really smooth movement. Another charm onto Guma Yushi. No flash on the AD carry. Guma Yushi dashing around, but Jose gets the kick back onto Ona. It's two. For Estral, they'll look for more of a Zayas pulls the all out across Ackerman. Pulled to his death. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, Faker continues to push in the side lanes. Yeah, Zayas not messing around here. He's going to be able to answer one right back. And Faker on the bottom side. Gosh, it's brutal what these solo laners have been doing to this Aatrox medic. Uh, the guy's got 100 CS at 21 minutes. So he's had a struggle. He's had a few good moments. You know, he got the solo kill under top tower. Yeah. Guma Yushi down to half HP as well. Another charm onto Ono. Is he heartbreakers over the wall and ends Cody's life. Another charm from Ono. He gets the double. He's looking for more as Ackerman has to flash away the heartbreaker short, but it's a triple for Ona. One taken away by Carrier. Ona chases forward. Heartbreakers in, dodges the sonic wave, lands the spectral more, make it four for Ona as T1 clean up the fight with a clean ace. The Quadra for Ona having fun. Getting out as quickly. Cody dashing in there with the Spirit Rush. The Shockwave wide again. The Charm on Carrier. They'll get one. The oh. Nexus Towers fall. It's a reset central as the World Ender goes in for Zofei. They found two all out from Zaya. Zofei goes low. Ackerman trying to trade in as Ona steals away, but he can't do enough. I'm not sure he's ending any worlds today. Those wings going to be well and truly clipped by T1. Shockwave on Snacker pulls him back. The fountain healing not enough as T1 close in on the base. Ravenous for more bloodshed, it seems. They're not hitting the Nexus yet, but Estral only have Jose Diodo standing. And all he can do is watch as T1 claim the series 2 and 0. Oh.
and honestly with their international appearances, but when you look at this, the damage curve and also they were never really behind.